Keith, when are we gonna get married? Yeah, you're gorgeous. Check this out, babe. <gasps> you think you want to marry me? Yes. You do? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. For real? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Take Keith to be your husband? Of course. And do you, Keith, take Judy to be your wife? I do. Is there anyone here that objects to this union? Speak now or forever hold your peace. You, are you sure you want to do this, Judy? Yes. This is the man of my dreams. <laughs> Now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> What are you 
you looking for, Jody? I'm looking for my keys. Have you seen my phone? It should all be in your purse. I'll tell you what, lock this door and get Gertrude on your way out. Keith, I always lock the door. <laughs> okay. Love you more. That bar. I can't find my phone. Showed you a hundred times, Doc, can it? I got the keys, but I can't find my phone. Come on, hurry up. Okay, just a second. Shoot. Where are you you guys made it to 40, and I just want to thank you for that, for being such an awesome example of a husband and wife to Chris and I, and to our girls, and I want to thank you for introducing me to Jesus cause, and my whole family, because without you, I don't know what path I would be on. Gertrude, are you ready? Thank you for being awesome grandparents and so fun, but yet discipling at the same time. So I love you very much, just as if you were my own mom and dad, and you've treated me like one of the Atwoods. I'm so blessed to be called an Atwood, and thank you for accepting me, and... <laughs> Brother? Ah. Cool. I saw you in a strolling. Strolling? Yeah. You need some help? Nah, man, I'm good. Whoa. When's the last time you had a shower or something? You and my. Keith, see if he wants to go to church. Church, brother? Oh, oh, yeah, place will fall down. No, no. You need, you need to get set free from that addiction you have. I just drink on the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Did I say funny? <laughs> here, let's get in the car, buddy. I'm afraid you'll get hit. Out yeah, here. no, it's fine. Hey, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's get in the car. Jody, start praying. Okay. You guys have communion there with real wine? I love any communion. Mm. Where are you from? Uh, Virginia. We gotta get this guy set free. Yeah. It's free yeah. indeed. Alright, here we go. Okay. Ready to go. Don't forget about communion. You already had some today. No, I like the new wine. 
<laughs> okay, I'd like to thank the Michaelsons for praise and worship today. You did a great job. Thank you. Uh, yeah, big, big hand for them. And uh, don't forget about the work day next Saturday. We got to get this church fixed up. The roof is in bad shape. And uh, oh, the uh, the church picnic next Sunday. So we got church work day Saturday, and the church picnic Sunday. Cutie Judy, did I miss anything? Yeah, but I have a praise report. Okay, nine up. Okay, well, my wonderful husband, as always, driving down the road, and he saw this man, and he pulled over, and he picked up Gary. So Gary. let's give a warm welcome to Gary. Come on up, Gary. <laughs> Found this guy missing a shoe. And a bottle in his hand. Do you have anything to say? Uh, I would like to say um, thank you for coming to me in my time of need. Sorry. Uh, but uh, I'm no longer intoxicated. Amen, and brother. I've been, uh, yeah, I've been set free for almost 10 minutes now. <laughs> and uh, I hope that I can continue this flawless uh, effort to sustain from drinking alcohol on the weekends and probably during the week too. All but, right. uh, yeah, thank you for having me. And uh, the building didn't fall in. <laughs> no, it didn't. Yeah. No. <laughs> we think thank Gary's going to be living with us for a few months oh, to yeah. walk him through his recovery. So let's welcome to the family. All right, Gary. <laughs> Oh, isn't he so cute? Look how much hair he has. Mama. <laughs> Chris, our firstborn. Oh, mm. he is kind of cute, I guess. Aww. <laughs> you ready for another one? Sure. Ah. <laughs> uh, second born. Our little Eskimo. She's so Equipped beautiful. with a nose ring. <laughs> Might they grow up fast. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. You ready for another one? <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> More tax write off. This was quite the experience for baby number three. Sweet oh. Josh. Oh. <laughs> He's a cutie. Listen to him. <laughs> Ready for another one? I think so, Jody. A beautiful baby girl, Katie. And there's Naka. Katie Joy. Katie Joy. Oh, oh, so precious. Also equipped with a nose ring. <laughs> they do. They do. All right, thanks for that praise report, Judy. Does anybody else have anything? Maybe do. Okay, what's that? Whoa. Okay, we have one more thing. In honor of Pastor Appreciation, we would like to present you and Mom with a gift. So if you want to go down and join her, we'll present you with your... Melissa, you can hand deliver that sucker. What is that? Press the button. Press the button. Whoa, they're sending us to Hawaii.
I get to go Very too, right? <laughs> Again, I love you very much. <laughs> Congratulations, aloha. Hi, Mom and Dad, I just wanted to say thank you for all your years of dedication and service to the church and to the church family and to us as a family. And um, remaining faithful to one another despite adversities and everything our family's gone through, I just wanna thank you for standing strong, and staying firm, and showing us how to be courageous through anything and everything. And I love you lots. Without you, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> so my favorite memory was when, well, with Grandma, was when all of us girls from the night at Grandma's house and Grandma let us throw flour all over each other. And then my favorite memory with Papa is when he took us to the store and I said I wanted a flute. So then for my birthday, he bought me that flute. Love you, Grandma and Papa. Have a happy anniversary. I, I hope and when we went to Boy, it was fun because we climbed up that mountain. It was fun when I rode backwards. And I wanted to know, I wanted to let you guys know that I love you very much. My favorite memory with, about Grandpa was when he baptized me. And my favorite memory with Grandma was when she helped me um, sing on stage when I was scared. And I just wanted to uh, tell you that I love you really much, and ha I want to let you know that, that you need to have fun. I'm going to Hawaii. Love you. My turn? Yeah. This is a serious thing. It is? Well, if you would I can't be serious. Hey, I'm, I'm Josh. <laughs> Josh Atwood. Josh A. Train. Um. Well, I'd like to say thank you for my mom uh, for jumping in the pool and saving me when I fell in. Otherwise, I would be dead right now. And I'd like to thank my dad for keeping me on such a short leash. Really, he did. It was a short leash. It was tied to the tree. If it wasn't for that, I'd be lost right now somewhere in the woods. So I just want to say uh, love you and uh, thanks for uh, being such great parents. See you later. All right, Mom and Dad. Just uh, congratulations on your 40 years of marriage. Um, it's not always been fun and easy, but thanks for staying together, being a good example for all of us. And uh, we love you. And hopefully we got enough money for you to go to Hawaii. Bye-bye. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's Katie, your favorite daughter. I know everyone's gonna be mad at me for saying that, but at least we know it's true. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for being the best parents in the entire planet. Um, you've always been my number one fans, my best friends, my first love, and I have no idea what I would do without you. And I know I say this all the time, but I really don't know what I would do without you. And I appreciate you guys for all that you do. And um, for your godly example of walking in Christ and loving each other unconditionally. And I love you to pieces. Love you. Bye. Hi. I have um, two scriptures that stuck out to me. One for Pastor Keith is 2 Chron Chronicles 6 7. Now it was in the heart of David, my father, to build a house for the name of the Lord God of Israel. And I just um, really feel that you have established, you built it on the rock. And because of you and the foundation being um, so built properly on the name of the Lord, your family is blessed and we've all been able to follow suit of that. So I thank you for following the call in your life. 
and um, for Judy, it's Proverbs 31, 27 through 29. It says, she looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. And I definitely feel like with what we're doing here for you, um, your children are rising up and calling you blessed. So I just thank you um, for your service and being excellent. And I definitely agree with what the word says that you do surpass them all. And I love you and I appreciate you guys both. Thank you. I love you. you Want to say anything else? What do you love about Papa? Does he take you outside? Do you love it when Papa takes you outside? And what else about Grandma Judy? Um, she plays outside. She plays outside. And we play outside and swing. Awesome. And you love her so much. Yeah. And they watch you. Hey guys, just want to say that you guys are the coolest, you're probably the best in-laws could have possibly asked for. You guys are awesome just in everything that you do. We always have a great time hanging out with you guys. We always look forward to coming out and chilling with Chief and Mrs. Chief. We have a good old time out there. So you guys have just been awesome to us. We love you so much and your selflessness and the way that you're just always looking to do things for people. And just to serve the Lord however you can, that's really been an inspiration for Katie and I to get out there and serve the Lord as well and try to serve people as much as we can. So anything that we can possibly do for you is probably never enough, but we just want to thank you for being as cool as you guys are. We love you and we'll see you soon. Oh, the first time I came here, the Atwoods really made me feel like family. I mean, I kind of came in, I was really shy. I mean. It made me feel like family. First time I came over, I mean, Teddy, yeah, barking his balls off. <laughs> but yeah, they're like a second family to me. They're really nice and kind. Congratulations, Pastor Keith and Judy, on 40 years of marriage and on what would be almost 30 years of uh, friendship with Tom and me as a couple. Uh, I look back over all those years and uh, boy, there have been a lot of changes, all for the good. And I want to say now that <clears throat> I hope that you'll get in gear and make the plans uh, to go to Hawaii, knowing that you have many, many behind you wanting to be a part of that blessing. So in, uh, enjoy, and again, congratulations on your 40th wedding anniversary. I almost forgot, I wanted to add, uh, may God add many uh, more years of marriage and many more years of friendship. Well, the only thing I can add is, wow, 40 years. Congratulations. And to Keith, I would say, pawn to Bishop Six, check. Do you ever play this with Papa? Yeah. You do? Do you like playing this with Papa? Is that how Papa does it? Yeah. Does Grandma play the flute? No. I get to Papa Keith's so I can play it. So you can play it with Papa Keith? Yeah. Do you like playing with Papa Keith? Hey, does Grandma does Grandma watch you play the flute with Papa Keith? No. She doesn't. Company. With company. She hangs out with company? Mm hmm Th She doesn't want you to play the flute? What? Does she... 
Do you and Grandma bake cookies? No. You don't bake cookies with Grandma Atwood? Hmm. Grandma Atwood. Do you do you bake with Grandma? Yes. Yeah. Put in words what my grandparents mean to me because they mean so much. My favorite memory of my grandma is when we go out to the garden and pick raspberries and tomatoes. And my favorite memory of my grandpa is when I used to call him dad. And when we went everywhere, he was his dad to me. And when we went to Home Depot to get work supplies for him. I love you guys. Hi. I'm pretty proud of my family. I said, I told God a long time ago that I wanted to be a good mother-in-law to my uh, elder children. And I hope I can always keep that up. And I, I'm pretty proud of you, Casey and Judy, because you've been a good family. You're taking good care of your children. And I love your children very much because they're all good and beautiful. And I love all my children, but, and I've had, I think the good Lord gave me the best of everything when he gave me all you kids. Yeah. Love you guys. Have fun on your vacation. Now what? Do they know your name? Oh, um, yeah. I'm your second born granddaughter. Autumn Lynn. <laughs> Peace out. Peace. Well, I don't like cameras. It's okay, it's not here. Yes, it is. So it has is. a microphone in, but this is not here. Yes, it is. That's grandma. Doesn't <laughs> she look really young? That does, she doesn't even look like grandma. Is this a good view? I don't have a double chin or anything? No, you don't have a double chin. Okay. You can I don't know this what to say. There you go. I don't know what to say. Well, this is your idea. For, so, just for everybody watching, this you was Kate's idea. She <laughs> called me frantically. Josh, we gotta do this! <laughs> it's gonna be awesome! Did it? Do you, Katie, take... Oh, Judy. <laughs> 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 we'll edit that out. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs>